this is Sir Phil, this is Sir Phil's channel. Welcome back to our Math Team Matics 9 series of lessons. So we are now going to discuss lesson number 4. On your module number 4, sum and the product of the roots of quadratic equations. So we will be able to solve for the sum and the product of the roots of quadratic equation without solving for the roots of the quadratic equation. So the, our objective for this lesson is number one is to describe the relationship between the coefficients and the roots of quadratic equations. So in this particular lesson, we'll be able to uh, to determine or describe the re uh, the relationship of the coefficients on the quadratic equation in standard form and its roots, following by finding the sum and product of the roots of quadratic equations. So our MELX code for this lesson is M9AL-IC dash two so let us now proceed with the concept so according to this you can determine the sum and the product of the roots of quadratic equation using the following formulas for the sum which is represented as x sub one plus x sub two so we are talking about here the sum of the two roots of a particular quadratic equation so we could we could get their sum and the product using this formula without solving for the values of x sub one and x sub two just by the use of the values of a b and c in the standard form of a quadratic equation. So, in the Taglish version, makukuha daw natin yung uh, value ng ating sum and the product ng roots ng quadratic equation kahit hindi natin isolve yung value ng x sub 1 and x sub 2. So, we're just going to use these formula so for the sum of roots that is represented as x sub 1 plus x sub 2 which is equal to negative b over a. So, involved na naman yung mga, yung mga values ng a, b, and c dito. So, lagi lang natin tatandaan na dapat yung quadratic equation natin is written in standard form. So, to get the values or the true values of a, b, and c. And then, for the product of roots naman, it is represented as x sub 1 times x sub 2 equal to c over a. A. Okay, so let us now apply these formulas in finding the sum and the product of the roots of quadratic equation. So let's have the first example. Find the sum and the product of the roots of the quadratic equation given by 3x squared plus 6x minus 9 equal to 0. So if you can, can, if you can observe, uh, this quadratic equation is already written in standard form. So meaning we can already have the true value of a, b, and c. So for the value of a, we have positive 3. For the value of b, we have positive 6. And then for the value of c, we have negative 9. So we're going to use those uh, values in finding the sum and the product of the roots of this quadratic equation. So let's start with the sum with the sum of the roots given by x sub 1 plus x sub 2 equal to negative b over a. So all you have to do is to substitute the values. So we have negative times 6 all over 3. And then we simplify. Negative times 6 is negative 6 over 3. Okay, negative 6 divided by 3, you divide. So we have negative 2. Therefore, the sum of the roots of the quadratic equation 3x squared plus 6x minus 9 equal to 0 is negative 2. So let us now proceed with the product given by x sub 1 times x sub 2 equal to c over a. So substitute lang natin yung value ng c tsaka ng a. So ang c natin ay negative 9 over ang a natin is 3. Tapos, simplify lang natin. Pwede naman natin i-divide. So, i-divide natin. Negative 9 divided by 3 is negative 3. So, papansin nyo, hindi naman natin alam yung value ng x sub 1 at ng x sub 2. Pero, we, be, we are able to solve for their sum and the product. So, using the formula, negative b over a and for the product, that is C over A. Okay, so let us now proceed with 
the next example. Okay, so here we are asked to find the sum and the product of the roots of the quadratic equation x squared minus 11x plus 28 equal to 0. So following again the rules in standard form, we could now easily get the values of a, b, and c. So here a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 11, and c is equal to positive 28. Okay, so again, the formula for the sum is negative b over a. Then substitute, we have negative 11, and then we have negative outside over positive 1. Then you simplify negative times negative 11 is positive 11 divided by 1. So 11 divided by 1 is 11. So the sum of the roots of the quadratic equation x squared minus 11x plus 28 equal to 0 is positive 11. So let us now proceed with the product x sub 1 times x sub 2 equal to c over a. So we substitute now the value of c. We have 28 over a, which is 1. 28 divided by 1 is... 28. So the product of the roots of the quadratic equation, the given quadratic equation, is positive 28. Okay, you can now try our third example. Find the sum of the product of the roots of the quadratic equation, x squared plus 5x minus 6 equal to 0. So let's do this together. You can now try to solve it on your notes. So a is 1. Uh, sabayan nyo na ako dito. B is positive 5. And C is negative 6. So, unahin natin ang sum. Sabayan nyo ako ng pag-solve. Uh, we have negative B over A. So, we have here negative 5. Automatic na yun. Basta pag ano, mababago talaga yung sign niya. So, kung, kung ang given ay positive, automatic maging negative siya. So, kung negative siya, automatic magiging positive siya dito kasi may negative dun sa formula. And then, over 1. So, di-divide lang naman yan. So, the, the sum is negative 5. And then, for the product, we have C over A. So, ang C natin ay negative 6 over 1. So, simplify, that is negative 6. Okay, so finally, we have our last example. Find the sum of the product of the roots of quadratic equation 2x squared minus 6x minus 8 equal to 0. So, naka-standard form naman siya. So, A here is positive 2, B is negative 6, and C is negative 8. Okay, so let's have the sum. We have negative b over a. Substitute. So, dahil negative 6 siya, magiging positive na siya dito. Divided by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Positive 3. Tapos, sa atin ng mga product, that is c over a, our c is negative 8 divided by 2. So, negative 8 divided by 2 is negative 4. And that is the product of the roots of the quadratic equation to x squared minus 6x minus 8 equal to 0. Following the, the sum is positive 3. Okay, so let us proceed with the next part of this lesson. According to this, the quadratic equation may also be determined using the values of the sum and the product of the root. So meaning, uh, ito naman, ibibigay yung, yung value ng sum and the value of the product of the roots of quadratic equation. Tapos gamit yun, madederive natin yung quadratic equation. Okay, so we have a note here that we need to negate the value of the sum of roots since it is the additive inverse of the coefficient of the linear term. So for now, uh, ang gagawin lang natin is to get the sum. 
Meron dito ang positive 7. Tapos ang product natin ay positive 12. So given the quadratic equation in standard form, meron tayong x squared. AX squared plus BX plus C equal to 0. So, balikan natin yan yung standard form niya. Tapos, take note also that uh, ang magiging A natin in this particular uh, equation ay 1. Laging 1. Okay? So, paano makukuha yung B? Uh, ang B natin ay makukuha natin using the the, the sum, which is positive 7. So, meron ditong note that we need to negate the value of the sum of roots since it is the additive inverse of the coefficient of the linear term. So, automatic, ang B natin is the additive inverse of the sum of the roots. So, kung positive 7 siya, yung magiging value ng B is negative 7. So, kung negative 7 naman siya dyan, yung magiging value ng B natin is negative 7. So, kung positive 7 siya, so, ang B natin dito ay negative 7. And then, for the value of C naman, kung ano yung value ng product. Ang product natin is positive 12. So, automatic ang C natin ay 12. Since ang A kasi natin ay 1. So, kung babalikan natin yan sa formula nung, nung, uh, nung sum, which is negative B over A, tapos dun sa product na C over A. 1 lang naman kasi ang ating A. So, that's it also for the value of B and C. Over, over 1 lang naman sila. So, ang uh, take note lang natin, para makuha yung B, get the additive inverse. Okay? Lagi siyang ganon. I-negate lang natin. Pag negate natin, kung ang given na sum ay positive, yung B natin is negative. Kung ang given na sum is negative, ang B natin is positive. So, in this particular example, ang B natin ay 7. So, um, ay ang sum natin ay 7. So, therefore, ang B natin is negative 7. Tapos, yung C, kung ano yung value ng product, yun yung C. Tapos, substitute lang natin dun sa standard form. So, ang A natin ay 1. So, 1 lang naman. X squared lang siya. Tapos, dahil negative yung B, negative na ilalagay natin dito. Negative 7 X plus yung C, which is 12 equal to 0. So, ito na ngayon yung ating quadratic equation. So, ang kinukuha natin dito yung quadratic equation. So, check nga natin. Kapag yung sum, check lang natin. So, negative B over A. So, 7 over 1. So, tama. 7. Tapos, sa product, C over 1. So, 12 over 1. 12. Okay? So, apply natin sa next example. Okay, ang given, given yung sum na negative 5, tapos yung product is negative 36. So, derive the quadratic equation. So, balikan natin. Sulat so, lang natin ulit. AX squared plus BX plus C equal to 0. Again, yung A natin ay laging 1. So, ang B natin ay kabaliktara ng sum. Inenegate lang natin. So, ang sum natin ay negative 5. So, ang B natin ay positive 5. So, ang C natin, kukopihin lang natin sa product. That is negative 36. Okay? Substitute na natin dito sa standard form. So, 1 pa rin yan, yung A. So, X squared pa rin yan. Plus 5X minus 36 equal to Zero. So, ito na yung kinukuha natin quadratic equation. Okay? Next example tayo. Ayan, fraction. So, given the sum 3 over 2 and then the product is negative 3 over 4, derive the quadratic equation. Okay? So, ulat lang natin ulit yung standard form. AX squared plus BX plus C equal to 0. 
So again, ang A natin muna is 1 dito. And then, yung B natin is negative 3 over 2. Kasi positive siya dito. So, pag kinuha natin yung B, in-negate lang natin. So, that is negative 3 over 2. Tapos, ang C natin ay, kukopihin lang yung product, negative 3 over 4. Substitute na natin. So, x squared pa rin ito kasi ang A ay 1. Minus na, kasi negative yung B. 3 over 2 x. Tapos, minus ulit kasi yung C natin ay negative 3 fourths. Equal to 0. So, tanggalin natin itong ano, denominator. So, to do that, we have to multiply the whole equation by its least common denominator. So, ang least common denominator niya ay, of course, 4. Kasi ang ano naman natin is 2 and 4. 2 and 4 lang yan. So, get the least common denominator. Plus, multiply natin sa whole equation. So, by multiplying, we will have 4 times x squared. So, we have 4 x squared minus, so multiply lang sa numerator, 4 times 3 is 12 over 2. So, divided by 2, 6x yan. Plus, minus ulit, copy lang yon. Plus, 4 times 3 is 12 divided by 4. So, 12 divided by 4 is 3 equal to 0. So, eto na ngayon yung quadratic equation. Ayan, ganyan kapag fraction. Multiply lang natin sa kanilang least common denominator. Okay? So, let's have another similar example with this. This is our last example. Ayan. So, given the sum, negative 4 over 5, and the product, negative 2 thirds, derive the quadratic equation. So, sulat ulit natin ang uh, standard form ang quadratic equation equal to 0. Okay, so again, A muna is 1. B is yung... Uh, Inenegate natin yung negative 4 over 5. So negative siya, so ang B natin ay positive. Tapos, ang C natin, kopihin lang yung product. Negative 2 over 3. Okay, substitute natin x squared pa rin yan, kasi 1 lang yung a, plus 4 over 5x. Yun yung b natin. So, yung c natin ay negative. So, minus 2 thirds equal to 0. Tapos, multiply natin sa LCD ng 5 and 3. Ang LCD niya ay 15. Okay. So, by multiplying it, we have 15x squared and then 15 uh, plus muna, and then 15 times 4 is 60. 60 divided by 5 is 12. X. Tapos minus 15 times 2 is 30 divided by 3 is 10 equal to 0. So this is now our quadratic equation. Okay, so, practice nyo lang ang paggawa nito para mas matutunan natin. Pwede nyo pa ulit-ulitin ang video na to. So, again, thank you for listening for this lesson in the sum and the product of the roots. So, medyo madami tayong kailangan tandaan dito. So, mag-aaral ng mabuti. Okay, so, this is Sir Phil and this is Sir Phil's channel. Thank you for watching.